Hey everyone, it is Josh, and we're back with another episode of Magic City Neighbors in the Mic. Across from us, we have Police Chief Vince Morber. Now, I already checked. He's not going to get rid of my parking tickets for me, but he's got some other cool information, so stay tuned. You're listening to Magic City Neighbors on the Mic, where we talk to your Barberton neighbors about their stories, their insights, and what gets them laughing. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. And now, to the show. As Josh stated before, he's right here. I'm Jack, and thank you for being here today, Chief Morber. Thanks. Good to be here. Good. So... We've got big questions for you. Okay. Um, not, we're not going to be too intimidating about this because you have the gun and we do not. <laughs> so that's the... <laughs> you hold the power today. Correct. Correct. Although we have the mics and we have the editing power, but once again. So what what is your kind of background? Because I don't think many people know that. And what made you say, hey, I want to be a police officer? Uh, background, Barbara native, grew up on the east side, Ford and Forth. Um Came from a service family, so mom mom was a nurse until she started yes. having all of us. Uh, there's four of us, and dad's a, a fireman. So no dad, dad was a barber and fireman. So yeah, no mom was a nurse at the hospital for ten years in RN. So wow, yeah. so just nothing ever left here. No, no, that's apples and trees. So, <laughs> uh, so when you started, mm-hmm. I, I mean, when you said okay, police, the the police route is the way I'm going to go. Was chief a goal? Was it, I mean, did you, because I, I kind of, I, I, someone told me years ago, they're like, yeah, I missed a couple of meetings and I show up and like, hey, here's your new job. <laughs> it's like, Wait a minute. So no. I, I, w- how did that kind of come no, I, to be I, for you? I really didn't want to be a police officer per se. And, you know, it wasn't one of those kids. That, I've always wanted to be a police officer since seven years old. That was not me. <laughs> uh, no, really. Uh, you know. You go to St. Augustine, St. Vincent, St. Mary. You you grew up to, you know, a job to take care of others, I suppose. Um, so brothers and sisters all ended up doing service jobs, professions. One's a, uh, a nurse, a nurse practitioner. One was a special educator and then be an administrator. And my brother's a barman, fireman now. So uh, examples, you know, children learn what they live, right? So it was just yeah. kind of natural. Uh, you go to school. I was once school was a teacher. I was teaching, and uh, just taking police and fire tests along the way. I think I took some post office tests. I wanted a job, so <laughs> uh, when I told my I fr- when job. I told some of my friends, you know that yeah, well, you know not, you know that was going to be a police officer. Like really, Vince? This, <laughs> they're like, yeah. I mean, that's I, interesting. I wasn't a devil, but I definitely wasn't always a choir boy growing up. So, but I had a lot of good examples of police officers uh, in my life. You know, yeah. looking back, yeah. you know, a lot of them were coaches. Mr. McCulligan, Dick McCulligan, okay, uh, was basketball coach. Uh, Ernie Panko, Danny Adair, sure. And my neighbor was Bill Pfeiffer. Uh, okay, Pete Maurer lived around the corner, so you got to see them all. Bob Luxeter at church, all, all those good guys. I'm, you know, I'll leave somebody out. I'm sure. I'm sorry, but. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure they'll comment for us. I'm sure they and will. And we'll be good. They'll, I hope let, they'll let me know at the next more FOP engagement. meeting. So. Yeah, yeah, more engagement. We'd but like yeah, to, so, we'd like to see that. But it took the test. They called, and I said, sure, sounds like fun. Drive fast, take chances, get a company car. <laughs> so. Be- so before we rec- before we started recording, you made a comment about like what being chief is now to a certain extent. Oh, I'm an accountant with a gun. Yeah, uh, and on, that's on <laughs> most days. I, you know, I have to administrate. Sure, you know, sure. sure. I mean, that's it's part of it. Your accounts payable, receivable, part of uh, the job. Fleet manager. I have. We have really good people, excellent people. I can't say enough about the men and women who I work with. So, and they do a lot. But obviously, my job is to make sure that they have what they need to do their job. So that that makes sense. So speaking of which. <sighs> I wanted to ask kind of a different question than the normal police question, I guess I would say. And it's, you have, I mean, obviously being the police chief, you hear a lot of stuff come across the radio there. Right. What is something that you think citizens in Barberton can do better or differently 
to change the community as whether it be from a police standpoint, from a friendly standpoint, what's something you see maybe? Uh, best thing, be a good neighbor. Sure. Truly, truly I, the golden rule still applies. It sounds so simple. And a lot of times people, you know, on the calls we go on, they care what they see when they look out their front window, right? Sure. So you don't have to change the whole world. Just change the world around you that you touch. It doesn't hurt anything to be kind, to be nice, to help each other out, uh, show each other some grace, get to know one another. I mean, really, that's that's community building in its essence. And if we all did that to the people who we touch on four sides or however many sides, sure, you know, cool. I, I think we're, we'd make strides. Get out and our know community. your neighbor. Yeah, know each other. And you don't have to be best buds, but, <laughs> you know, how are you, you know? Yeah. And, and the, the friendly the, wave, the... Yeah, and just, you know, a little chit-chat and, makes and care. You okay? You know, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I saw you on crutches. Not, right? Yeah. <laughs> true. Right. No, for yeah, sure. Uh, makes a huge difference. If totally you see if difference. you see a problem, you know, feel free to call. We don't mind. Uh, you know, I know you guys are social media. Sometimes I think social media is like, oh, I see something, I'll just tell the world, but Instead not tell somebody who could to actual right, resources. I mean, yeah. yeah. Or, or put it out two hours later, and poof, the moments pass. There's nothing. Nothing you know, do ex post facto, any of us can do. Right. So, right. right. You can show. Yeah, uh, be engaged. The, the example that I always give is if you go to a doctor and say, hey, I had a headache three weeks ago, the doctor's going to be like, great. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. um, so, right. yeah. So, I, I mean, engage with you guys, too. To Absolutely. Call. Sure. How's it going? Call you up. Yeah. Yeah. I, engage with Just one another. With and, on the phone. And us, obviously. Sure. So, right. Sure. Sure. I think Jack's going to talk about that next. So I'm yeah. going to just throw it to him then. So leading into that, um, Barberton's police presence seems a lot more friendly and interactive with the community than like some others, which mm -hmm. I guess I don't really know because I haven't been outside of Barberton much, but they seem to have, they're doing something right. And do you think that's intentional? I, I think it's, it's a natural byproduct of the people that make up the Barberton Police Department who have and who do and who will. Um, you, every department has a culture. Every, every every office space has a culture. <laughs> yes, they you guys do. were laughing here earlier. You have a yeah. you have a cool culture, right? And uh, I was raised in that culture to uh, be a part of this community, to care about it. We don't work for the Barberton Police Department. We are the Barberton Police Department. There's an ownership and a mm -hmm. pride, uh, and. I, I don't do this on my own. I want to make that really clear. I, all of us work together. And when we hire, we hire jointly. Um, we, we hire for character. We, we can train pretty much a monkey to take a report, and we don't want to be report takers. <laughs> yeah, uh, makes sense. But it, we want good quality character people who care and try to do well for others. And, uh, and so – so it's you, a you hire for character. Picking right? out those people in the community to, yeah. who you want to yep. represent you. Okay, right. that's nice. And uh, I will say, you know, obviously we hear a lot of – we're in the complaint business. We get that. But there, <laughs> there's a lot of people who truly support – in Barberton truly support the Bar and Police yeah. Department and uh, and tell us that on a regular basis. Yeah, so, for sure. So thanks, that's thanks great to, to each of you, you out yeah. there who don't – you know. It's interesting because I even saw it like recently at the Mum Fest. Mm -hmm. um, you see officers, probably, I would say 75, 80% of them engaging with so many people around. Whereas you go to other departments and you go to other festivals and you see someone standing there, fingers in the vest, um, right. Glasses. Glasses. So I, you don't even know if they're <laughs> awake or asleep or not. <laughs> um, yeah. And it, it's a very different vibe. It really is. Mm -hmm. There's a very different presence of that <clears throat> friendliness instead of that, um, I don't want to call it intimidation, but that patrol, mm -hmm. um, it, it made it, it, it makes a difference. It does. It does. And, and I was raised that way in this department. So by, you know, my mentors and training officers sure. and my sergeants and lieutenants and you knew what the expectations were and it's not hard it's actually a lot of fun to <laughs> be part of the community <laughs> truly yeah, we, that we, makes we, sense we, it's a barber in place we're we're you know here for each other yeah. so that's awesome um, our, our sros we have had a great sro program for 
over several decades, we have a full-time SRO, not a traveling one or split schools in every school. Um, wow. And, and that's part of it, too. I, I really believe, you know, thanks to Cheatham and Eberhardt and Velo and Officer mm-hmm. Shan Davis just retired, and she was a long-time SRO at the middle school. Yeah. Uh, those relationships. Yeah. So, how, truly, truly how relationships. Long, how long have the SROs been in place? Kenny Kenny Cheatham was there 20, over 20 years ago. So, Wow. He started back at the old high school. Wow. So, I didn't realize that. And then when the new middle school was built, Shannon went there, Shannon Davis. Sure. So, yeah. Wow. You know, and we've made that commitment. To, you yeah, know, I will say, too. It definitely and, and does really, make a difference. You, you came through. Those. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like having and, Everhart. And it's, he was a very, like, just a cool guy. Like, people would just go talk to him. Right. Like, it's another and, student and in the school and that's or something. All I think most police officers are just regular men and women doing sometimes just a gotta difficult, look at demand like that. job. Yeah. And, but when we see each other, when we talk to each other, when we engage each other, our neighbors, the cops, you know, everybody, that's, that's community. Yeah. That's good stuff. 100%. Yeah. And then what is something that you'd love for Barton people to know that they may not have heard? Do you have any... Words of wisdom, words of advice, anything um, for the barber, or just people? something they should know well, about the police department. Yeah, I, you know, we're not Mayberry. Okay, <laughs> let's let's be honest, we are not Mayberry. You know, is there more than one bullet? Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> there there is. I, you know, uh, I wish Lieutenant White was here. He he jokes with me all the time, and uh, he's the patrol commander, and you know, he's kind of the point person for a lot of people who come in, and he'll go. They didn't want to talk to Barney. They wanted to talk to Andy today. You know, and it's, yeah. So uh, we have our issues, no doubt. But uh, Barberton is a wonderful town. It really, truly is. And I believe, yeah. and if I could tell people that, and you're fortunate to live here with uh, safety forces, the police department that, that cares and provides you excellent service, you're safe. I believe you're safe in town. So Awesome. Um, that kind of leads us to that uh, our, our lightning, lightning round, round questions. That uh, right? Yeah. No, be ready. ready. There's no buzzer. Um, I was worried that you might slap it into the desk or anything like that. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. So, what is something to look forward to from the department? Is there anything upcoming? Is there anything cool, new, or interesting that's happening or whatever? Hmm. Well, coming up. Uh, August or uh, August. Yeah, it's October. <laughs> next year, October next year. 28th, Saturday, <laughs> uh, 10 to 2, we do uh, drug take back. So we'll be oh, doing nice. drug take back with uh, Mag City Kiwanis right over there at the old First Merit, uh, 480 West Tusk, across from McDonald's. Nice. Bring us your, your tired, your expired, your used, your old, worn out uh, script. <laughs> Script drugs. drugs, any drugs, and we will get rid of them safely. They'll be burned, diverted. No um, kidding. So yeah, yeah, we but, do it. We do it twice a year. And thank you for the Kiwanis. And uh, there's other groups that help sponsor and support too. But we get a lot of drugs that way. And oh, so for sure. you know, it's a good community event that we do. Uh, this Friday is uh, you're off school. I'm not even oh, in you're, school. Oh, you're, you're graduating. You're yeah, so young. Graduated. So he, well, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Um, He's definitely off of school. So, <laughs> yeah. But it, it's, uh, the kids are off, yeah. but uh, we're going to take a group of kids, uh, 20 of them, and we're going to take them fishing. So, oh, uh, oh that's Barb cool. Barbara FOP 13 sponsoring it. No overtime will be paid to go fishing. All right. <laughs> uh, but that's that's a cool event. Yeah. That yeah. Well, that is really Badges and bobbers, we're calling it. <laughs> Badges and bobbers. Yeah, and they get to go out and do, a, you know, fish with us. Well, I'm sure we'll have some burgers and dogs. And, nice. Uh, so, Where are you and, guys fishing and, at? Uh, the SRO is uh, a local pond, which I, I prefer not to name no, this time because we don't need it. Uh, the, no, 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 that, that's good. I was just wondering if this so, was in Lake Anna. No, we will not be at Lake Anna. Okay. So. Okay. okay. <laughs> we got to try to control it a little bit. You know? Right, right. So. We don't want 50 lines in, the, in Lake Anna right, at the same yeah. time. Yeah, <laughs> and the SROs pick some kids, and how are they picked them? You know, that's— That's awesome. But yeah. But, nice. but they'll go home with a pole and uh, a lifetime skill and— a nice day, you know. Yeah. And most of them probably sitting around me playing PlayStation or something. So, you know, just a way switch to get it out. up, get outside. Yeah, come on. Yeah, and, get and it should be the best day of the week. So that's exciting. Yeah. Yes. Um, we need we one have, of those. Yeah, we have shop with the cop. Uh, Christmas with the cop. Oh, uh, I miss Kmart. I gotta tell you, uh, <laughs> we used to, you know, everything you needed in town, you could get in Barbara, right? To, when Kmart was go right there. Go to Kmart. Uh, and I'm glad Marx is here, but uh, we. 
we used to go to Kmart, but we don't anymore. But we do Christmas with the cops, so that's coming up. And nice. again, that that's a, another thing we do for Barbara and kids uh, through the school resource officer. Sure. So that's yeah. that's the and uh, Masonic the Masons uh, oh, support wonderful. that. So too wonderful. A lot of cu- great community partners, and, and that's you know we talk about community. That's it really key. is. None yeah. of us do it on our own. I mean, we're just paid full time to do what everybody else should probably be doing too and you know one of the yeah. tenants of law enforcement right yeah. you know we're just paid full time to go out and watch and take care of one make another make sure people you know? are doing good yeah yeah nice so. and then uh, how long are your work shifts typically like if you oh, could walk us through maybe a week yeah, or something if we, it's... we work eight hours okay uh, eight hour shifts so first shift is six to two in the afternoon uh, second shift is two to ten night shift uh, graveyards you know, vampires and freaks. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, ten at night, uh, six in the morning. If you've okay. ever worked night shift, you you understand that. Yeah. As a police officer, it's a. I can't even. It's imagine. a different world. Yeah. Mom, 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 and grandma were right. Nothing good happens after a certain hour. <laughs> 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 Truly. I I, I can I believe and understand uh, I, that. Yeah, I imagine. Um, it. To me, it's just it's the once it gets dark out, the the world changes. It does. It's the whole environment, our perception of it yeah. changes, and everything like uh, that. Yeah, we, it's a forty-hour week. So. Okay. Nice. Your, your days off rotate. We have a rotating schedule. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, big, 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 and I, I, this is controversial. And the most important one. And it, it, this is, um, donuts. I like donuts as much as everybody, anybody does. Absolutely. But as, do you like that more than maybe Jack or Josh likes them though? Right. Cause you're in a uniform that we're not. Right. I, I, I wonder if this I is I don't a... know. I was, I was weaned on donuts. So, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I truly, you know, it was not uncommon to go to, to you know, mass with the family at St. Augustine on the way home. Hey, Vince, run to Crinkle House and get a dozen donuts. Oh, Crinkle yeah. Crinkle House is right there, Mr. Pramuka, right? So yeah. uh, that was cool. Uh, oh, yeah. We obviously, we have a, a, a leeches hookup, and, and they give us lots of really? donuts along yeah. the way. Yeah. I, so it, so I, and, saying and, this as a kid yeah. makes me wonder now, though. With that many donuts as a kid, did that predispose you to becoming a police officer? I don't think so. He just knew he was no. getting all the right. donuts. I mean, so between he just the, to no. between the service, I, I like pastries too. I am, I'm, okay. a, I'm a sweets guy. Okay, because so, I remember with at the Rib Fest, you you did a good job. You enjoyed the ribs. I really did. I, you you yeah. really dug into those things. A lot of people left some on the plate. You're like, no, 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 don't well, take that I yet. I had to give a full accounting of. You know. <laughs> Just thorough. Real yeah. judge. Being thorough. Yeah. yeah. No, that that makes total sense. Hints of clove in some of them. <laughs> so it was, that was fun. That was a good, yes. that's a great event too. Yeah, so. it really was. Really. And then another really important one. After this is all done, can I come play with the sirens in the car? Sure, absolutely. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can, yeah I put their, sure. can I put your badge on too? Uh-huh, yeah. All right, thanks, well, I, have a, I have a junior, I might actually have one in here, a junior police badge. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yes. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Well, I, I get you If one, you find though, one, absolutely. I appreciate yeah. you. We, right. we need junior police badges for this I because that will end up on today. social media right. for this. That, yeah. that we, if we both get junior yeah. police badges, <laughs> that, would, that would make my day. <laughs> um, so now we got to get to our big questions that we ask just absolutely everyone. What is your favorite Barberton folklore slash tall tale slash oh. rumor? Um, I mean, a lot of people have been on the Lake Anna's bottomless thing. Mm-hmm. Um, although, as we've had kind of a dry summer here, that is appearing less and <laughs> less likely yeah. as, as we see much more of the bottom of Lake Anna. Um, but there's that. There's haunted schools. There's been how did the, cur- or how did the city turn purple? What's the favorite one? Oh, goodness. Uh, nobody knows the city like a cop. I will tell you that. So, I can believe that. So actually upstairs in the Wagon building, there's all kinds of stories in those old, you know, yeah. things. So uh, I always like the old uh, petticoat thief story. I have back, not heard this one. Uh, not either. Way back in the day, um, petticoat. Or, so... All right, it's underwear. All right, there was an underwear thief. You, you didn't have washers, dryer, dryers like you do now, right? right so yeah. you hang out your stuff on the, the oh, line, right? used ones. And so let me tell you, people are the same from 
time immemorial. All right. I don't care what people say. <laughs> oh, it's worse today than it ever was. It's every generation said that. They always will. We perhaps know more now, but there were freaks then and there's freaks now. Right. <laughs> and so somebody was going around still in women's underwear. Right. So then all wow. the rumors of who that was and, you know. Wow. And, and there's always been peepers and goofy folks and, you know, that right. type of thing. So that was, yeah, Phyllis Taylor wrote a lot about that back when she had a column in the Herald. Right. Uh, and I remember reading that. I was like, oh, yeah. So actually, yeah, that, that's that's a pretty good one But crazy. on the police side. But it since it's close me. to close to uh, Halloween, I will tell you, I have been several places in town where I, I don't know, I've you know, I grew up with Friday the 13th and sure. Nightmare on Elm Street and, you know, those 80s type of slasher films and stuff. But uh, <laughs> so you're always kind of neutral, perhaps, or, you know, on right. on some of that stuff, but spirits. But I've been in several places in town that absolutely freak me and the officers I was with out, like, where it was like, you did not feel like you were alone, right? Yes. So Alexander Commons across the street, uh, it, it, before it was redone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you could go from almost from, you know, one side all the way across through the other, through the walls and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I remember we came into this one room, and I'm telling you, man, it was we, – we were like, whoa. <laughs> there, I mean, look, the hair is standing – you can see it. Right? Is, I really, we got that vibe, you know. And uh, it's like, whoa, that is – you know, there was, there was something else there. So I don't need, know what it was, but, you know. We need to talk to Melanie about this then to see if somehow Main Street can capitalize on downtown Barberton being haunted. Well, they've had haunted walks. And actually, um, I think the library's doing one here coming I up. I think they are. They are. Yeah. So that that was one place. And the other one, though, where I got like the evil, like like the get the heck out of Dodge vibe. We went on an alarm drop over at uh, – um, on Worcester Road North, by, where you by, can work Kentucky Fried Chicken used to be. It was Louisiana Pacific. It's a daycare yeah. now. So, um, and we went in the basement of that, and uh, and it was like the same type of uh, feeling. And it was it was alarm drop, open door, you know, type of thing. And no, nope. mm, and, no and here that was. Uh, so I asked my mom, and that was the old, it was the old hospital, right? Oh. And uh, she was actually uh. born there, and uh, they. That I, I believe we were in the morgue down there. So, oh, in the morgue part of it. So, so. That, just as a quick side note, that, that was that weird. Then. So, as boo, spooky Halloween. Story. Yeah, <laughs> as chief, mm-hmm. do you get to go? Go ahead, go ahead. You, you, you first. I'll, I'll, I'll cover the rear here. Uh, uh, no, I, <laughs> always, take I, I never minded being first through the door. You know, so oh, I, you got I was, that position. I was, you know, dumb enough to, you know, <laughs> hey, send, it. send me. I, you know, I was. I'll do it. You know, I put on a few pounds since I started, but uh, we were just out on a call on the west side, and they looked around and said, "Hey, you know, they've tossed me in the window to, on a welfare check." So, oh. it's, you know, it's okay. It's kind of fun. That's kind of why you sign up, right? In lots of ways, right? So, I get it. Um, it's fair. Yeah. And then, uh, just to end it off, what do you see as the future for Barberton, and what do you think the bright spots are? Uh, bright spots are. are Good young people like you. And truly, you know, I believe the children are the future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. I mean, we we joke about, thank you, Whitney, you know, but, uh, (laughs) but really, uh, you know, the the people who care, who want to make a difference, uh, Barberton bright spots. I I think there's a, there's absolutely an impetus to, to redo downtown. So uh, a lot of good things happen in in that, in that respect. I believe uh, we have really good schools and and they're pumping out smart intelligent educated people and that's only a positive yeah so yeah, yeah they got me last year yeah pumped out the most important one over the last 20 years so. um sure so <laughs> th- those are all bright spots uh, yeah. you know it's uh definitely sense of community it's though. The, yeah, yeah just but yeah it's the economy you know the economy's doing good in town so yeah bwxt Go Navy. So a friend who was a sub commander, you know, who I came up with. Nice. And, you know, they do a lot of Navy contracts yes. and specifically submarine stuff. So yeah, I'm nice. not spilling national secrets there, but yeah, <laughs> they're doing a great job. <laughs> a, lot, a, lot, a lot of great businesses in town. They, they do you know, some and, unique things there. Yeah. And, um, you know, yeah. That, that, that's good. Cool. Very cool. 
And to us, I, I mean, I really want to thank you for coming in. Yeah, um, thank thanks you. for having me. We, we I talk all it. day if you. Yeah, if no, you we let could, me, so. No, we we do not need you to match Polacek. Is uh, <laughs> <laughs> or Jovi <laughs> or Jovi? Yeah, those uh, two, those two have taken the cake. <laughs> um, you 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 have kept this to a pleasant life. Love you, Dave. We right. We really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so all, for all you out there, make sure you're subscribed. Download this wherever you listen to podcasts. Comment on it. Um, if you have questions, let us know who you want to see in next, and we will catch you soon. 